Winners stick with winners. And that's why I have no friends. Look at me. <laughs> winners stick with winners. And that's why I have no friends. Uh, maybe I'm being a, a bit over dramatic. I do have some close friends. Very few. Very few. Very few. Okay. Um, you have to understand that it's better to be alone than with losers. Okay. And again, I always tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Oh, I want to be friends with everyone. Roses and rainbows. Life does not work like that, especially as a man. My bad. You must associate yourself with winners or people who are trying to be winners and that's the key when you look at me let me when you look at me when you look at me what do you see you think i'm a winner i don't think i'm a winner yet for my age i think i'm a winner in the grand scheme of things as males probably not but when you look at me, what do you see? A potential winner, right? How he articulates himself, how he looks, my discipline. There's so much you haven't even heard or seen yet from me. How strong my mindset is, my experience, how I'm so profound with these topics, how I'm so comfortable with my own skin. How I can get girls. <laughs> you see a potential winner, right? And... When you are improving yourself, as I said, everyone or the vast majority of people around you are not going to be winners, okay? Winners is what you want it to be. If you think a winner is going to the pub and not working out and not improving yourself and fucking around all day and wanking, then no problem. That's your definition of a winner. My question to you is, what is your definition of a winner? When I say the word winner, who comes to mind? What people? Andrew Tate? KSI, maybe? Maybe your father? It's every, there's no right or wrong answer here. You just have to understand that if you want to be a winner, you're not <laughs> going to be friends with everyone and you're going to lose people along the way. That's what happens. When you're so focused on your dream, when you're so determined, when you're giving it your all every day, you know, anyone who's doing that, I take my hat off to you. I respect you wholeheartedly because you're trying your best to create a better life for yourself, right? I respect that so much. You're trying. And this is the key word. Look at me. You're trying to become better. Everyone around you, maybe that friendship group, you know, <laughs> maybe even you see it in orders, maybe, certain family members. Do you think they're trying to improve or they're just existing? Hmm? What is their days? Think about it for a second. Look at me. Think about it. What are their days? <laughs> what happens in their days? What, go work. Come home. In front of the TV. Repeat. Don't even shower. Probably smell shit. <laughs> repeat, right? Do you think that's a routine for winners? I'm not shitting on it. I'm not shitting on it whatsoever. Is that in your head what a winner would do? Now you compare that to waking up early, eating good, you know, working out, pursuing a business, trying to improve your looks, trying to learn, reading books, trying to make money, social skills, experiences, travel the world. That's just my definition of a winner. That's just my definition. Securing yourself. <laughs> List goes on, right? There's so much to do in life. There's so much to learn, okay? And look at you sitting there like a dickhead watching this video. What you just have to understand is to be a winner or when you're trying to become a winner or trying to be on self-improvement, you have my wholehearted respect. If you're not trying, forget it. There's no hope for you, okay? Maybe you can look to your ceiling and come back in a year or two time when you're mature. But as a man or as even a female, if you're trying to become better, which is essentially the purpose of life, we'll talk about this another time, you are... Or you have my respect because you're just trying. You may not know what you're doing. You may not even feel confident. You may feel so, wow, this is new. This is so different. But you're trying. You're trying to become better. You're trying to create a better life for you and your future generations, for your current, your family. Everyone around you or the vast majority of people, and you have to understand this, 
There's only, again, they always say the top 10%, the top 20% of men. Why? Why is that so small? Why is it a minority, the top 1%? Why is it a minority? Because not everyone's going to do it. Just because everyone doesn't do something, does it mean it's bad? IQ. Yeah, have you seen the, have you seen the, not IQ, the eyes, I rate them still. IQ, the, the bell, right? Most people are like in the middle with IQ, but there's a small percentage of people, 1% that are extremely high IQ. Is that not a desired quality? But, but, but Kiri, 99% of people aren't on that. Not everyone is going to do what you're going to do and not everyone's going to be a winner for a reason. If you're doing something different, if you're standing out, if you're looking around you and saying, why is no one doing what I'm doing? You're doing the right thing, I promise you. You're doing the right thing and you must, must, must continue, okay? So it's better and listen, there are some people I know, if you even resonate with me, please message me, comment or Instagram, whatever. We can self-improve together. We can talk about anything. All I, all I care about, I don't care your sexual orientation, what the fuck you're doing, what stage you are. All I care about is, are you trying to become better? Yes or no? Are you trying every day to become better in at least the smallest way? Yes or no? Boy, girl, alien, are you trying to become better? Yes or no? Yes? Okay, we can become friends. That's it. That's all I care about. They're the people I want to associate with, the people trying to become better because then I can learn from them and I love learning. Then I can help them and then we can help each other and then we can grow and we can be focused. When you associate with people that aren't trying or aren't winners, what do you think happens to you? Come on. Look at me. What do you think happens to you? Should we say that quote again, yeah? You are the, the... Come on, everyone say it together. You are the average of the five people that you spent up completely and utterly true. You've heard it. What do you, th you think people pluck these things from the arse or something? That's so true. If you hang around with losers, you're a fucking loser. If you hang around with winners, even if you're a fucking loser, you'll become a winner. Simple as. That's it. Okay? So if you are looking at your people you know now, and you're looking at them, and you're saying... These lot are finished. If they're smoking weed every day, again, your definition of a winner. Maybe, maybe you think winners do smoke weed. No problem. I personally don't, but whatever. If you think that's what winners do, then hang around winners. If you have an idea of what a winner, as I said, in your head is, then of course, stay around that group. And if they aren't incongruent to your vision and your idea of a winner, then why are you with them? What? Because there's someone, someone there to support you. Listen, there's no point. <laughs> you must, you must, you must. It is better. It is better to be alone than have people that are losers around you. Okay, let me say that again. It is better to be alone than have people that are losers and have no ambition and will bring you down around you. You've seen again. Should we say it together? Come on, that fruit analogy. If mold goes on one, it goes and spreads. Completely true again. You will by default. It will rub off on you. When my ex was crazy, personality disorder, screaming in, in the street, one and a half years affecting me in my face every time. Do you not think that had a negative effect on me? It did in the end. It affected my mental health after so many days, and we're going to talk about that another time properly. <laughs> okay. So if there's losers around you, no problem. Acknowledge that, say, listen, maybe you, you change when you see them. Maybe you just could use them for like, not use them, but associate when you're going out or certain things. You create some distance for a reason because you don't need to tell them. You're just in your head like, all right, these people aren't really going in the same direction, not congruent to my values and what I'm trying to become a winner or at least trying to become someone better. I just want to try. These people around me aren't trying so you can stay here and I'm going to go over here. Simple. It is better to be alone than to be with losers. It is better to be alone than to be with losers. It is better to be alone than to be with losers. If you want to fix your life today or have access to my free self-improvement guide, all links will be down below.